In this lesson, we're going to take a look at setting attributes at the workspace level inside of Apex. Let's revisit the hierarchy that we've looked at on previous lessons. Anytime we make a change at the workspace level, it affects everything below it, but nothing above it. So if we make any changes to the attributes at the workspace level, it'll affect our applications, the pages in those applications, the regions in those pages, and the items in those regions. We're going to take a look at some of the attributes that we can change at the workspace level. And then to dovetail on some of the security things that we did in the previous section, we can log out as the administrative user, log back in as the developer user, and see how that person doesn't have access to the same things that the administrative user for our workspace has. Let's hop back into our Application Express environment. I'm going to log in as the admin user. Once I log in, I can go to the administrative section and see all the different pieces that are available to me. You see that I have access to everything that makes up this particular workspace. I can click on Manage Service. I can create new users and groups monitor the activity inside the workspace, look at various dashboards to see how my workspace is performing, and get a utilization report. Just as a quick aside, let's log out of this workspace and log in as the user Paul that I created. If you remember, I created Paul as a developer, not an administrator. So when I log into Oracle Application Express, it looks like I have the same things available to me. If I click on Administration, however, you'll see that Paul, because he's a developer, doesn't have access to all of the different pieces. He can only see monitor activity and some of the dashboards that are associated with his particular user inside of this workspace. He doesn't have the ability to go in there and create new users or groups as an example. So I'm going to log out, log back in as the administrative user, go to Administration, and you can see I have the full access to all the different pieces again. So I'm going to click on Manage Service, and one of those pieces is called Set Workspace Preferences. Anything that I set here will cascade down to all of the apps, all of the pages, all of the regions, all of the items for anything inside of this workspace. So when I click that link, you'll see that I'm given access to these different pieces at the workspace level. I can automatically expire different applications based on the number of maximum logins. I can set end user account lifetimes. I can disable the application builder at the entire workspace level. This is really handy when I move an application from a development environment over to a production environment. I probably never want to give application builder access in a production environment. Instead of having to go through and change all of those developer users or disable all of those developer users inside of my workspace, I can simply disable the application builder. Once I do that in my production environment, no one can get access to the builder part of Application Express. They can certainly go in and run the applications, but they can't go in there and change anything in production. The SQL Workshop is a way of allowing developers a way of getting into the database and running SQL against the database. This is an incredibly powerful feature, but you may not want to give your developers that type of low-level access. I can deny that access at the workspace level simply by changing this to no. Same thing goes to PL SQL programs, procedures, functions, and packages. I can allow developers to create PL SQL functions, procedures, and packages inside my Apex environment to support their development efforts, or I can deny it at the workspace level. RESTful services are the way Application Express implements web services. I can deny access to any type of web service inside of Application Express just by changing this to no. I can enable or disable team development features. I can enable or disable a file repository that allows my developers to store files inside of the Apex environment. What type of files might a developer want to save? Well, maybe a SQL script that they have to run periodically against the development environment. I can enable a file repository or disable a file repository just by selecting this value here. Again, all of these features are at the workspace level so they will cascade down to any other object that's created inside of this particular workspace. 
there are lots of different administrative capabilities in Oracle Application Express. This class, however, is not designed to teach you to be an Apex administrator. It is designed to give you just the basics so that you understand how to set up an environment to create an Apex environment that your developers can then hop into and start developing Apex applications. It's very difficult to do something inside of Apex that will damage your environment. So I encourage you to go into each one of these different pieces, the dashboards, the utilization reports, and you can get a really good overview of all of the types of features that Apex provides for you right out of the box.